Here's hoping that this movie does not go down the same way that King Arthur did. So Aladdin is the live action remake of the beloved Renaissance Disney animated film telling the story of a street hustler who gains a magic lamp and a genie and uses three wishes to gain the love of his life. Well, it's here, people. My most anticipated Disney movie this year, aside from Avengers. A lot of people would say Ala uh, The Lion King. I'm an Aladdin guy. Aladdin was always my favorite of the Disney Renaissance films. I cannot speak today. But Aladdin has always been one of my beloved films. I loved the Sega Genesis game, played it all the time. I always loved the songs. Robin Williams definitely had a huge part to play in that. And when I first heard the original concept of this, that they're going to do a live action Aladdin, Guy Ritchie was going to be directing it, and Will Smith was going to be playing the genie, I had no idea what to expect because pretty much all of that just kind of was like, huh? The marketing campaign didn't help them out a whole lot. Um, there was things that was shown a little bit too early, I think. They definitely front-loaded their marketing with things that they probably should have held back a little bit and showed more of the, the fun, more the musical side of this film to get people in. And it's a shame because I'm here to tell you, Aladdin actually delivered. It was really good. I enjoyed it. This is a film where it really delivered on recreating a lot of those iconic things that I remembered from the original animated film while padding out the film with some extra stuff to make it a little bit different and to expand the story a bit. And I enjoyed the final product. So aside from what I just said, let's get into the positives. And the main thing that I walked away loving this film for was also the main thing that I walked in with the most hesitance and the most nervousness about, and that's Will Smith as the genie. He was great. He was perfect for the role. He was awesome. Oh, great one who summons me, I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding. Watch this. Watch out. Uh, you done wound me up. You ain't never had a friend like me. I'm still a little bit in shock how much I liked him. Like, he's definitely the best part of the movie. And that was the part that, throughout the marketing, throughout the original concept and everything, I was like, oh, God, oh, that could go so wrong so quickly. But they really tapped into what was what we all know and love about Will Smith and what we all know and love about the genie and brought them together. This version of the genie is different enough to stand on its own, and it's different enough to let Will Smith put his own charisma and his own style on it. But at the same time, it really holds on to the same heart and the same style as Robin Williams' ver uh, version of the genie. So it doesn't feel like this huge departure. It really does feel like the same character just delivered two very different ways, but almost equally good. Probably not as iconic yet. I mean, obviously Robin Williams, that's like a career-defining role for him and like a career-defining example of great voice acting, but Will Smith did about as good as you could possibly do with a live-action version of this role in my mind. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in Make Me a Prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Y'all see my palace? You look like a prince on the outside. But I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge, okay? I say when it's time. Really? And I really enjoyed how they brought the whole story of Aladdin to life. This is a very larger than life story. You know, I like how they brought the city of Agrabah together. I like how the Cave of Wonders looked. I like how they brought certain things that you wouldn't think would translate well from an animated film to live action, like mostly a lot of the stuff involving the genie and that kind of hyperactive sense of humor. And it all flowed, it all fit. It didn't feel like it was jumping the shark. It didn't feel like it didn't fit live action. The movie presents its tone. It presents its style, its color palette and everything, and it just works. Everything worked together really well for me from the CGI to the costume design to the dance numbers and the music numbers. It all really felt like they took the spirit and the soul of this, this Aladdin animated film and really did translate it to live action as good as you could possibly expect them to. Naomi Scott was also really good. She's the other standout person as far as delivering because, you know, the role of Jasmine's beefed up a little bit more in this movie. Some people are going to roll their eyes, but it is more kind of a, a, a shell for female empowerment, her character, like it's a way to get that message across. I felt like that they, they did pretty good with it. I can get annoyed sometimes when it feels like movies are shoving a social message into your face, but it felt like it fit the film and it fit the story. So it doesn't feel like they shoved it in just to kind of, you know, get political points or kind of get 
a little bit of social justice warrior points or anything like that. So as long as you're not somebody who's hypersensitive to that thing, I think you'll enjoy what they did with her character. But expanding her and giving her some extra songs and everything to kind of reinforce that message, I feel like it lets her deliver her performance a little bit more because her main thing is about trying to, you know, rise to be sultan when women are not allowed to be sultan. She's trying to protect the people of Agrabah and protect her people and her country and you know the things that she loves and trying to get this new style of leadership out there. And I like how her performance got all that through as well as her chemistry with Aladdin, her chemistry with her father, uh, Raja the, the tiger was great. A lot of the songs, I don't know if this was actually the actor singing or not, I probably should have researched that before the review, but whether or not it was, or it, it, it was seamless. It was seamless for them going to like an acting dialogue scene to suddenly singing and the voice for whoever was singing these songs was really good. So if it was Naomi Scott, that's one extra point. But if it wasn't that transcending and going from actress to, you know, musical star, it worked. I also have to say, because this is something that people get a little bit crazy about sometimes when it comes to these live action Disney remakes, I enjoyed the stuff that they added to this, the stuff that they changed and kind of tweaked around a little bit. Some of that I think was very necessary to make this movie fit a live action storytelling, not a animated film storytelling. Some people seem to think you should take everything 100% direct and just throw it on the screen, it's gonna work perfectly and it will not. So certain aspects of the story, and when you get to the end of the movie, I think most people will agree, had to be tempered down a bit, had to be changed a bit, and I think it worked really well as letting this stand alone, still leaving things, leaving reasons to go back and rewatch that Aladdin animated film, aside from the fact that it's awesome and it's a classic, but certain aspects of the story, you will still be able to go back to that animated film and only get from that animated film. Whereas you can go to this and you can get some different elements, the different Jasmine motivations and everything, some different Jafar things here and there, a couple of different sequences, the way that they bookend the film, the way they started and they ended, I think was actually a really good change. So I liked what they changed to make this Aladdin stand out and to kind of help translate from animated to live action. Now moving on to some things that I was a little bit mixed about, and really it's just two things. One, I've said before, probably not very often, but mostly when La La Land was the big movie out, I'm not a big fan of musicals. There's really only one musical that I have ever loved dearly, and that is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. A lot of the other ones, I just don't get into it. It's just not my style. This movie does feel like a musical because not only are they doing all the music numbers from Aladdin and I think it works, but it, it feels like a musical because people just randomly spout off into singing. It's not like there's dance numbers that fit like the genie stuff, but there's literally scenes where Aladdin and Jasmine are running through the streets of Agrabah away from a bunch of armed guards and they're singing while they're doing it. And while I like it, while I think it translated well to live action, at the same time, it felt a little bit too much just for my taste. Uh, like I said, I'm just not a fan of musicals. If you are, you're probably gonna love what they do with this, but it felt a little too much for me. And the other mixed aspect is the actor who portrays Aladdin. I'm probably gonna screw his name up, but I believe it's Menem Asad or Menem Asad. But this is a guy that I've never seen before. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's more of a stage actor. He's not really a live action Hollywood actor, at least not yet, but there's, times when he really nails the role of Aladdin. There's times when he fits the look, he fits the same attitude, he has that same kind of charisma and likability about him. You do root for this character. He has good chemistry with Naomi Scott, he has good chemistry with Will Smith, but there's times throughout the movie when he feels like the weak link. Maybe it's because Will Smith and Naomi Scott are just so damn good that it's hard for him to keep up, but when you have your title character Aladdin and the guy that you're following and he feels like the weak link around his surrounding characters, it stands out a little bit here and there. It's not the whole movie, it's literally just specific scenes here and there that it feels that way, but it's possible they could have got a better actor for Aladdin. But at the same time, I do like what he delivered, so I'm not saying that I hate his portrayal whatsoever, that's why it's a mixed aspect. There's things that I love that he did, there's things I felt like could have been better. And really the only negative that I have with this film is the portrayal of Jafar. I don't know if it's really to put on the shoulders of the actor or maybe just how they kind of had to temper that character down so much to make it fit live action more because Jafar is like literally a mustache twirling villain where he has all these sorcery powers. He turns into a giant King Cobra at the end of the original animated film. So they had to tweak him a little bit. 
I just never felt intimidated by this guy. Like, Jafar is a very intimidating looking villain. He's a very evil villain. Like, the whole imagery of the snake and the fire and everything at the end is Jafar. That is what you think of when you think of that character. He's one of my favorite Disney animated villains. When you get to the live action portrayal of Jafar, he just seems like more of a creep, like more of a little bit of a scumbag, you know what I mean? He's just so power hungry and whiny that he just wants to get power no matter what. And it just to me, that portrayal of Jafar just doesn't land to me. I think if they would have had a little bit more of a direct representation from the animated film, this thing would have went up at least half a letter grade because the heroes sometimes are only as strong as their villains. And while I think that everything else in this film works very well, Jafar was the one thing where I really felt like they dropped the ball on. But overall, guys, I really enjoyed this live action version of Aladdin. I hope that it succeeds financially. I think they botched the marketing a little bit. I think that they led with some of the early CGI with the genie, which they should not have done. Um, but I think most people who are walking into this movie, maybe because of those tempered expectations from the marketing, are walking out saying, that was way better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm hoping this movie succeeds. I hope that Guy Ritchie does not have another flop in his hands like King Arthur, because I was actually a fan of that movie too and don't feel like it deserved uh, what it got. But if you are a fan of the original Aladdin film, I think most of you, if not all of you, are going to walk in and at least enjoy this. It's not going to maybe take over that original animated film for you. It might not even come close, but I think pretty much everybody that likes that story, likes those characters, likes the visual representations of certain things that go on in this film from the genie and you know other characters that you will really enjoy what they bring to this version of Aladdin. Do you trust me? So if you're a fan of the original animated film and you want to see what this film can be like in a live action setting, I think you're going to be surprised and you're going to be very pleased with what they give you. So take the whole family out and check this thing out in theaters. And when it comes to the shelves, go out and buy it. So what did you guys think of Aladdin? Did you enjoy this live action remake of the original animated film? Do you much prefer the original animated film? Are you not a fan of Aladdin at all? Are you somebody that maybe liked it better? That would be interesting to hear. What did you think of the, the genie? God, Will Smith was so good as the genie. And do you agree about Jafar? Those are the main two characters, the genie and Jafar. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Please check the video description below for social media links like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Spreadshirt for Cody Leach merchandise, like t-shirts, mesh bags, all those kinds of things. And my Patreon page, which is a great way to give back to this channel, help this channel grow, and get cool exclusive content for your eyes only if you decide to become a patron. So check all that out, guys. And if you want to check out some more of my reviews, you can check those out by clicking right over here.